Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Morgan. Welcome. Um, today we are going to go pick up my new horse. So, um, I purchased, technically adopted, but I bought a, um, off-track thoroughbred and we are going to go pick him up today. So, yes, you're going to go with us. So stay tuned if you want to see us picking up my new horse. I got his halter and his lead rope ready. Um, I also picked up some probios to kind of help guard against stress ulcers from moving um, this. I ordered a breakaway strap to add to this because I prefer breakaway halters. I think they're safer, um, but it hasn't come in yet. So we'll, just, we'll get it when we get it, okay? We're at my dad's house, picking up his trailer. That's his horses. Because we don't have a trailer. Huh? Where, who are we going to get? Beaker. Huh? Beaker, yep. Yeah. His horse is gorgeous. Um, so, we're at his house grabbing his trailer. Tom's back there now. You can't see him hitching it up. And uh, we're going to go get Beaker. We got lunch at Wawa. So, and my sister has the baby. So, my friend I went to high school with, actually, her mom owns a horse farm. So, she actually is the one that hooked me up with Beaker. Um, his name was originally WB, but uh, we've been calling him Beaker. <laughs> um, so, she held him for a little bit while I could pick him up. So, this is me first meeting him. He's trying to eat my hair. Um, so, when we brought him home, my sister actually went out and held our pony. That's our childhood pony, Casey. We've had her since she was six months old. She's pushing 30. Um, so... Uh, she went and held her just because she is very old and we didn't want him to kind of rile her up um, because if she gets to run and she'll just fall down. So that's for her own safety is why we catch her. So here he is on the trailer. I am five foot tall. Um, so he does look tall, but he is tall. Um, but you have to keep in mind, I'm also very short. So I don't think he's ever been in a stock trailer before because as you can see, he's a little confused. I tried to get him to back off and he was like, heck no, what do you want me to do? He took another step here, and he's being such a good boy. He's only three years old. He was like, mm, no. So I was like, you know what? I'll just turn him around. He didn't He didn't rush or jump or anything like that, but I don't think he's ever been on a trailer without a ramp. So no fault of his own there, and I was not trying to stress him out um, his first day, his first, like, second at his new home. So he did not seem to care about Casey at all. Uh, Casey was very excited to see another horse. She has been alone since my other mare passed away uh, September of last year. So she has been completely alone. He, on the other hand, has not. So he's not that impressed with her, but she is very excited to see him. And um, like I said, we've had her forever and she is an ancient little app pony and she just wants a friend. So um, we just had them both um, on the lead on the lead rope and we walked him around a little bit just so he could see where his new surroundings are where his boundaries are and then um, just so they can kind of acclimate to each other they took to each other very well actually so like I said they took to each other very well Casey um, is super gross and anytime she's around a gelding she wants to have his babies so she's gonna do a little male mare squeal here um, and kind of <laughs> just she's she's such a mare but he does not care <laughs> he didn't care about the dog he's he's very low-key chill kind of guy so um at this point we just decided to take casey out for a little bit and then for when i turn him loose and see if he was gonna play racehorse on me because if he started playing racehorse and she tried to catch up it was gonna be bad news so um i just had my sister take her out of the pen and uh we let beaker uh let Beaker loose. So this was about as exciting as he got. He, uh, I just took the halter off. He didn't care. He walked around a little bit and then he kind of trot all the way down to the edge of the field. Not with that much energy. He just kind of was checking it out and stretching his legs. But, um, I don't think he's been on full pasture turnout for a while. Um, so he's just checking things out. 
all went well. <laughs> and then I also have some video of the first time I lunged him. He did such a good job. Um, uh, I know he doesn't have a lot of lunging experience. If he's ever been on a lunge line, I'm not sure. I'll ask, um, I'll ask my friend, trainer, girl who I got him from. Um, but he did really well. Uh, he was so easy at the walk and the trot. Uh, when I asked him to canter, he got a little, he got a little fresh with me, but I mean, I, I kind of expected that. So, um, I just wanted to kind of see how he moves and how he reacts to being on the lunge line. And he did an awesome job. Um, I have no complaints about this sweet boy. And I think for three years old and being very, very green and out of work for six, seven months, I think he did a good job. There you go. He's a little getting fresh, but that's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see how he moved and he is a beautiful mover. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this is something that interests you, I can post more about his transformation. I will not be the person like training him per se. I mean, obviously I'll work with him, but um, he is going to be sent out for four to six weeks of under saddle training because I am not going to be the first one to get on this horse. Um, I cannot risk getting hurt. I don't want to get hurt and I do not have the experience to give him his first ride back under the saddle. So um, I am going to have someone who is way more equipped do that for me. And I am also looking into getting a round pen so I can work him a little more on the ground because I actually hate using the lunge line. Um, let's see, he comes right on in when I tell him whoa. So he is such a good boy and I am so thrilled to have him. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. If you're interested in seeing more about Beaker, um, let me know in the comments and I'll post more. If this is something you're not into, then sorry, but thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> Bye guys.